Good morning and welcome back to the channel. So I'm going to continue to work on our autumn Thanksgiving. Uh, it really is a Thanksgiving photo album for, uh, for my family. And um, we're going to work on, I think, page five, um, which is this one. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. But I do have some things that I wanted to um, kind of do uh, beforehand before we get to that. Uh, one of the things was this here. I wanted to kind of decorate up here and also there's a photo mat that we need to put together and put in here. Now some of the decorations throughout a photo album like this are easier to do after you have some scraps. For instance, these guys right here, they're easier to do when I've got scraps because that's exactly what I used was the scraps right here. So um, I've just got three little scraps and then uh, these are actually some border stickers that I cut in half, sort of, almost in half. And then this one is a photo mat that goes in my little pocket, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and do the photo mat first because it's probably the easiest one to do out of all of this. And again, any of my inserts, I'm trying to use just the craft cardstock. So we we're going to start with the base of that. And yeah. Sorry, I was making sure that I was clicked off of the thing thing. And again, these are actually just made with the scraps. Um, so this is what I have so far with my scraps. I've got my pencil in my fur pocket. Here. Um, and then I've just got kind of everything in my little box that we made uh, the other day. I've got all my card, my craft card stock back here. Okay. And that's just kind of sitting there. And anytime I go and create the layout of a page, I will pull from my scraps first if I can. Sometimes I cannot. And I'll show you with the next page that we're going to do. Oh, come on. Some of them, um, I don't think I was able to use a lot of scraps with page five, but I was with page six. And we're definitely not going to get to page six today because that one is a doozy. That one literally took me all day long to lay out and get all the papers and everything ready and kind of design and whatnot, try to figure out how I wanted everything to fall. And I'm really not even sure that that one's going to fall the way I want it to. I almost want to do that one first, but I'm not going to. Um, so we'll do page six tomorrow. Okay. So there's that one. And then this one on top. And I really do like li using the liquid glue for these because it makes it really, really easy to align them. And my liquid glue of choice is the Fabri-Tac because in my photo albums, I do not want the paper warped or crinkled or anything. I want it as flat as can be because I put enough dimension in this thing using embellishments and stickers the like. I do not need my paper to be dimensional too. So I want it to lay nice and super flat and the Fabri-Tac is great for that. I believe the uh, Beacon 3-in-1 also is the same concept. I have never used it. Let's see, there's um, there's the 3-in-1 Fabri-Tac and then there's another one um, that is may also made by Beacon, but I don't remember the name of it, but it's clear just like, um, let me see if I can grab a bottle real quick. Come out, come out, come out of you. Oh. So um, 
it's clear just like this one is, but it's, um, it has three in one is one of them. The Fabri-Tac is another one. And then there is a third one as well. And it's a clear, I believe all three are acetone based glues. I believe I'm not sure. Um, but I have heard that they are all like very similar to each other. So now our photo mat is complete. So we can put that in our little pocket here, just like that. And it, it is nice and flat. You need to stay put. It's a little chunkier right now than it needs to be because I've got two giant clips holding all the papers together. Because this is a page that needs to be put together and this is a page that needs to be put together. But this goes on the back of this, so I didn't really want to try to figure out how to do that. Um, I'm just going to move this out of the way for a second. All right, so the next thing that I want to do is lay down um, all of my scrap pieces here. And they're just going to lay just like that. Okay. Oh, and there's only two. I thought there was three. And I'm going to try to get this as close to the edge as possible. Okay. Oh, I forgot my embellishment on my uh, paper, on my card. I'll, I'll add that in a minute. And then we're going to take our sticker. This one's already got the backing off. I basically wanted to see if it would stick, and it does not. Not very well. So we're going to add some glue. You could try to use like a glue stick if you wanted to, but I have not found a glue stick that isn't like super wet and warps the paper. Like even the Uhu glue, which is my favorite, by the way, this one, this one, it warps the paper. Do you guys remember the, um, the journaling cards that I made a while back with the napkins and the rice paper? I used that Uhu stick and it, it caused the papers to curl. All right, so now we're gonna use this one here. What, what do you want? Sorry, my daughter came in here, my youngest, and she never comes in here when I'm recording. And I just wanted to make sure she didn't need something. She just wanted to watch what I was doing. All right. And now I'm going to take this one here, or not. Come off. I'm in here recording. Oh, I thought you were asking me. I was like, no. But now my oldest just came in here, said that dad was looking for me. But apparently dad was looking for little, little, not me. All right, I am trying to get the backing off of this thing. All right, <laughs> this was not working very well. All right, so now I'm gonna glue the back of this. All right, did I do that? Yeah, I did it that way. I'm trying to remember if I put the straight edge down or if I put it up, but I put it down. Okay. All 
right? And then with this one, I had wanted to put this guy on here. let go. I kind of want that to remain loose. I don't think I'm going to glue that part. I think it would be really cute. So have it just kind of hang in there. Now I'm going to wait to put this back in the pocket because I need this to dry before I put it back in the pocket. And I'm going to glue a couple pieces down because they're not quite glued down all the way. should be good. All right, and now we're just going to set this right on top. Because like I said, I don't want to put it in there just yet because I want it to dry. But this will go in here like that. And then we've got our decorative pieces there. Okay, so now that part's done. Now, if you remember correctly yesterday, <laughs> I was like, oops, I forgot to cut the mats for this. We're going to do those real quick, and then we will get to page five. If I remember what I did, because I did the layout for that one yesterday. Because I try to have two layouts ready, just in case one doesn't take quite as long. Um, just making sure there's mats in there. And we still need to make the mats for each one of the pockets, but we'll do that last probably. So these here go inside here. And I'm using the same mats that are on the inside. And we're going to put those down. So anyway, how are you guys doing? I hope everyone is well. I hope you guys are enjoying this, you know, start to finish with me. It's actually a lot of fun to do. I love doing photo albums. Okay. And this one I believe was on this side. There. You want to pull it up some? No, nope, I'm going to leave it down there. And this one was a scrap piece. These were scrap pieces. I think I really only have like two pieces that are big scrap pieces. Most of them are fairly, fairly small. And you could definitely make something like this into a journal because it's really easy to sew signatures into this particular uh, binding system. And I've actually done that before, how I made a, it was actually a combination. It was a junk journal mini album. 
and I made the pages like this, but I put, uh, for one, the pages were a lot more simple because in between each page, I put um, journaling paper. And I believe I'd have to find it, but I believe I do have a video of that somewhere. At least the final product. I still think I still have the journal actually. Oh, I think it's on my top shelf. Yeah, because I have a shelf like above my door that's got some of my books that I've made in the past. Actually, no, it's on that top shelf. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to take this out and this is page five. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to take this out and I'm going to put this in. Because this, actually I'm just going to set it down because we don't actually need that right now. Um, and these are scraps because like I said, I thought we had three, we had two, and these are trash. Yep. Now I'm going to take this. Maybe I will put it on there so it'll stay. Stay. I mean, it's going to have to come off so I can put the page on anyway, but for now it can just stay like that and it's still not completely full, as you can see, but we're not done. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can remember what I did with this. All right, so that is a pocket. Yeah, that's a pocket. That's the mat. That's the card. That's the other mat. All right. And that goes on that side. Okay. And then that is another Okay. Oh, I know what I was doing with this. Okay, so this one's actually fairly simple. <coughs> Excuse me. It took me a second to remember because I was like, what am I doing with this thing? All right, so basically I'm going to have a pocket and two fold outs. Um, so what I'm going to do first, I think, is I'm going to do... I think I want to do the pockets first. So I'm going to set all of this aside and grab, okay, grab one of the pockets and we need to do the base first and I need to erase some pencil because this actually was something different. And this is also why I don't just print out a whole bunch of stuff and then cut it all out because I always end up changing my mind and redesigning everything. Most of the things that I have used have been um, kind of measuring and cutting myself. Now I definitely use the download to get the pages, like the basic pages, because it's just so much easier to just print them and cut them out than to measure out all of them. And again, if you guys missed the first video where I introduced, you know, where this album came from, um, it's a printable download. The pages I got from uh, Genevieve Designs on Etsy. And um, the pages, the spine, and the covers so far are all hers. Um, well, I mean, I guess technically they're mine because I bought them, but um, they are, I'm going to wait on this one because I don't remember exactly where that goes. Okay. And then this one here. Okay. 
But anyway, like this right here, this is not part of her kit. This was, I wanted to do something and she didn't have it in her kit. So I just measured out and cut it out. But after you've done albums for a while, it's the same thing with journaling, really. After you do it for so long, you kind of get the hang of like how it goes, you know? Um, all right, so I'm gonna try to make, I wonder if I should just, I don't know if it's gonna get caught on that one. So I'm wondering if I should, no, definitely can't put it behind it. But because it's not catching right here, I think it might get caught. I don't know. We'll do it. It's just a personal album, so if it gets caught, then I can take it apart and do it again. But I think it'll be fine. Alright, so we're going to scoot this all the way over, and I'm sorry if my head is in the camera. It is. Hi. <laughs> Alright, make sure our fold still works, it does, okay, and we're not using magnets here, um, I'm going to have to trim ever so slightly off the top of this here. kind of around that corner back up. Around that corner back up. Oh, if I can get it. Okay. All right, that should work. Yeah. And this is a sticker. Um, this one, it does stick quite nicely, might I add. Like, I'd have to peel it up, damage my paper, and I don't want to do that. I am going to put some more glue where I just peeled it up, though. But with the stickers, I try to, like, put them down to see, for one, where they go. But for two, if I'm going to need glue. Because sometimes you need extra glue because sometimes the adhesive on the stickers is old or, you know, it's not necessarily the best quality in the world. But that's okay because that's why we have glue. All right, so this one has got a little tag right here, but I'm going to need a piece of, I'm just going to grab like a super tiny one, a piece of cardstock here. And I'm going to end up gluing that, but. Oh, I didn't want to do that before. I, uh, cause I, man, I took so much time measuring that to make sure it was straight and even, and then I just pulled it right on off. Good job. Bloop. Bloop. All right. Okay, we're gonna eyeball this. I think. Well, that's not right. <laughs> Although we could off center it. I think that would be really cute actually because of this tab. I actually really like that. I'm going to do that. Okay, I'm going to do that. All right, let's put this down first. Uh, 
no, no. Here. Okay. Let me give that a second to grab and then I'll pull the backing off of here and re glue it. This was also scraps. Like I said, um, I wasn't sure how much of this page was scraps actually, but I know page six has a lot of pieces because they have a lot of smaller pieces. So I was able to use the scraps for that. That's why, especially with albums, you should always save your scraps until you're finished with the project. Now, if you like to save scraps in general, then obviously you're going to keep all your scraps, but I normally don't keep like the colored cardstocks because normally if I'm using colored cardstock it's for one particular project and I normally end up running out before um, the end of it so I'm just like Arr. oh I didn't check which way this goes yep that's right like for this particular project that I have this red cardstock that I'm using for all of the bases, all the base pages, I have two and a half sheets left. That's it. And this is like super old, so I have no idea if I'm going to be able to find it again if I need it. So I'm going to have to get real creative. Alright, and now I'm going to peel this off, possibly. There we go. Add some extra glue and put it back. Okay. And now we've got our first little pocket. And I knew that was going to get stuck. I can feel it but the insert is small enough that it's okay. Oh, that is so cute. I love it. Okay, so let's, uh, we're gonna hold off on this one because this, it, it'll make sense, but it needs to correspond with this one here. So let's do our flip first, which is this one. And this is going to be a little bit longer than 30 minutes, I believe, being that we're at 28 now. Yay. If I knew how to edit, I'd be like, I'm poof, we're done. But that kind of defeats the whole purpose, I think, with the whole, you know, start to finish process. All right. Did I do that right? No, it needs to go this way. Okay, that's fine. I just need to make sure that it goes the way it's supposed to go. No, that is right. So this one goes like that. So this goes on this side and this goes on this side. All right, open that back up. And put you right there. Right. Now that's done. And then go 
of our card. I'm going to do the same thing with this one, but not take it off this time. What I'm going to do instead is I'm going to draw. Because this one is centered, and I'd like to keep it that way. <laughs> All right. Okay, we're done with that. And. Go ahead and glue this to the back of this. Right. And what were we doing? Ah, yes, our pumpkins. Okay. Pumpkin. I'm actually going to try to put this on the bottom so we can actually see all of our message here. There we go, just like that. Good night. I love you. My baby came in to get hugs and kisses. She's going to bed. It's 8 o'clock here in the evening. Obviously. I meant obviously in the evening, not obviously 8 o'clock. Alright. And then line that up. Like that. Okay. And then that's going to go in our little pocket that's not made yet. See, this one catches a little bit. I'm going to make sure to put that in there. That's actually one of the tricks to having these tabbed pockets, is if you put the bottom piece over top of the side pieces, then the chances of your insert or whatever um, catching on that bottom piece is a little bit lower. Okay, so I need to glue that bottom piece. Boop. All right, move that out the way. And then, and then line this up. So, right. and take our little snuggle, I like snuggles, snuggles are fun. This should go nicely in there. Yep, like that. Oh, glue's stuck. There it is. Okay. All right. 
So I'm just going to barely put it in there because I don't want it to get stuck in the bottom. But I'm going to take this and yeah, this one. Let's see, how did I want to put this? I think that's how I wanted to put this. We're going to glue the sticker down first. This is a sticker. It's uh, one of those border stickers again. I just cut it. Cut it down to size. Um, this was... Um, oh, K and Company from eons ago. Can you not this way? I kind of like that red coconut. You could do that. Let's do that way. Right. Oh, somebody is wrestling with my dog. I can hear her in there, huffing and puffing. All right, I'll move that out the way. This one right on top. Just like that. Okay. And then I'm going to wait on this one still yet. Um, okay. That scared me. I was like, wait a minute. What? So we're going to put this one down. Like that, hold that, and we've got another pocket. This one can absolutely go underneath it because this is going to get glued to the main page. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to line this up here. over and glue it down okay and we just gotta glue our tabs which could actually get glued on the other side as well so Just like that, glue's gone. All right. Okay. I'm gonna just score this a little bit. Okay. And then our card that was too big for our other pocket fits perfectly. Right there. Okay. All right. And then glue this one down. that 
and then how did I have you? Well, that gold is really bright for you guys, isn't it? It's got gold foil right there. Um, let's see if we can do it this way. Oh, I know what I wanted to do. That's right. Doing it that way because I was covering up that gold. I thought it was a little much too, but I didn't want to cut it. There we go. Okay. Figured that out. And when you have little pieces like this, and when you don't do the page immediately, like as you're planning, I actually like planning it out though. That way I can change my mind a thousand times. Which I do. Alright. There's that one. And that one. And that one. Okay. But anyway, um, if you don't lay it down as soon as you plan it out, you can sometimes forget where things go. Like I do. But that's okay, because that just leaves room for more ideas. Okay. And then this one is the last piece before our pockets. Now the pockets are the clips rather. I'm gonna go up here like this. I'm gonna go on that edge up here. Just like that. And that's the other flip. Okay. And then this one, go right here, like that. Make sure it's nice and straight. And now we know where to put our leaves. Okay, I'm gonna open this up, close it like that. I'm gonna put these leaves right here. Okay, right along that edge. I told you it makes sense. There's a method to my madness. <laughs> Now see, this one was actually a fairly simple one in respect to the next page. 
So I am really wondering how long that video is going to be. Okay. And there we go. And that's it. And then we put our card in here and it will hold it all together. Cool, huh? That way you don't need a magnet. Take the card out. You got a flip and a card and another flip and another card. Flip, flip. Neat. All right, now let's put this in our book. All right, so this is going to have to move. Oh no, why did I do that? <laughs> yeah, see, this is the next page. And like I said, I'm not entirely sure if it's going to work the way I want it to. We might have to alter it mid-video, <laughs> which should be fun. All right, so let's grab this. And lay it down right there. Okay. Just gotta make sure the edges are good and got. Sure, it's nice and flat. There you go. And if you really wanted to, you could take the card in this way and then close it up shop this way. Like if you wanted to put a magnet right there, I think that'd be really cute too. There we go. So that is the page. Okay. And that is page number five, guys. We're almost done with this. So we've got one, two, three more pages to do. Uh, this one is super complex. This one's probably going to be fairly simple. And I don't know about this one yet. <laughs> so um, not all of our pages are super complex and none of them are like super duper plain either. Um, so I don't think I'm going to just like put a mat on there and call it a day. I'm probably going to do something. I don't know what. But we'll figure it out when it comes. I really like this first page. It is so cute. All right. There we go. Anyway, thank you. There is a fly in here. There's been one fly in this house and we have tried to track it down forever and we can't get rid of it and it's bugging the crap out of me. Anyway, y'all don't care. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really enjoyed this process. I hope you guys are enjoying it as well. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Take care. Bye.